Yeah, everybody, welcome back to the coach's desk. Yeah, man, I'm your host, Coach Minzy, as you all know. Yeah, and um, we are here to inform you on what is happening, read the reggae boys, another time. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that's what we do. Yeah, man, so before we jump into that video, I must say big up to the persons who have subscribed to the channel. Big up yourselves. Yeah, man, I appreciate the subscription. Yeah. And um, if you're new, first time you're watching the video, just hit the, the, the subscribe button and join the family. Yeah, man. It's a good place to be. Yeah, man. Big up yourself. All right. So, people, let's talk about what we want to talk about. Interestingly, I do believe, based on observation, Paul Hall has taken control of the training session. Yeah? That's what I have seen. Yeah, man, that's what I've observed based on what um, the JFF football Instagram page would have sent out to us. Yeah, man. And I must say respect for that information, man, because, you know, we can't reach in a Florida and um, not everybody is able to be there. And we appreciate you giving us this information. Yeah. You know, the fans, them love them thing. They are here. I was I was on one of the the, the, the thread. I see people requesting video, requesting video. Well, video was given. And um it is interesting, people. Yeah man, so <clears throat> some little updates. Nobody knows what is happening with, with Ravel Morrison. I think something should be um said about what is happening with him, whether he's going or not. I guess the powers that be knows, but I mean, the people that support the football needs to know what is happening. So, JFF does send out that information quick and fast for people to know what is happening. Are, um, are you going to be replacing Ravel or are you going to just be working with what you have? Well, in my estimation, that's not a good idea. I think he should be replaced. All right, so we see you have uh, made available to us the squad numbers. Mm -hmm. And that's also a good thing. Well, as somebody would say, <laughs> we can't allow them to do what they are supposed to do. You know what I mean? But we, we're thankful for the information, man. So, Andre Blake in, in, in number one, of course. No second thought about that. Lamar Walker, two. Michael Hector, three. Amari Bell, four. Alva Spoil, number five. Uh, Leon Moore, number 6. Leon Bailey, number 7. Bala. O'Neill Fisher, number 8. Corey Burke, the striker, Maestro, number 9. Bobby Reed, a.k.a. Dexter Dapp, number 10. Shamar Nicholson, number 11. Bowser. Junior Flemings, Flemont. Yeah, man, number 12. Um, Dylan Barnes, number 13. Javan East, <laughs> number 14. Blair Turgard, number 15. Daniel Johnson, number 16. Damian Lowe, number 17. I think that's the number that his dad wore when he was representing the country. That's a good look. Ravel Morrison is 18. And we're not certain that he's there. Adrian Mariapa, Mops, 19. 20, Kimar Lawrence, 21. Tyreek McGee, 22. Devon Williams, a.k.a. Speedy. And then he's still... Yeah, man, number 23, Jordan style. <laughs> the man have a fly. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, man, that's the number for the, for, for the players. And um, definitely, we, 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 we are made a little bit familiar with the players. So, based on what we have seen definitely in the, on the Instagram feed, we realize that Paul Hall is giving a whole lot of instruction. Whether it is still picture, whether it is video, Paul all seem to be the man that is directing traffic. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that is a good look. That is a good look. I mean, he's a pro license coach. I think he has asserted himself um, tremendously where he, he would have been given the instruction that um, should be going out. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I heard in a video that he doesn't want any boring football. So I think the, the, the intensity of the training has, has, has stepped up, definitely. 
it, it has gone up to another level and 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 that, that, that's what i've seen and and to solidify that we heard the players are staying that man them training session are rough so i think the the, the quality is there i think paul all and the other members of the coaching staff is pushing the players to their threshold and that is really good because you're going into a tournament you want to ensure that you're firing and firing in on all cylinders so that's a good look and we really love that well i am impressed as a coach myself to know that players are playing at a high intensity level because you don't want them to meet up on teams that are a hard running team and they can't hold up against those teams uh, a high pressing team and they aren't able to to, to, to withstand those high press pressure from those teams. So it's a good look in my estimation. I like what I'm seeing. Trust me. Just by the, the little clips, I, I do a little deductive um, reasoning there where I see, yeah, the, the, the intensity of the training seem, seems to have stepped up a notch and, and definitely that's a good look. So players will, will get their fitness level up a little bit more. Like I said earlier, they are going to be stretched to their threshold and you know the lungs and the the, the, the endurance and 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 the, the the whole sort seem to be going up the the whole uh, capacity of the lungs and all of that seem to be stepping up. You know what I mean? The whole cardiovascular system seem to be working on by by this code because sometimes you know these players know the basic you know control pass, move into position, off the ball movement and all of that. But, but if they are not up to speed in terms of being fit, then they won't be able to carry out these duties. So possibly some of the, 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 the things that we have been seeing in the past where players aren't able to play a position well, uh, they, they, they lack movement and all of that, it, it, it probably as a result of them not being high-intensity um, footballers. So I like what, 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 what I've seen in, in the first session so far, trust me. I am impressed and I'm very hopeful at this moment right now that with the, these few days that, that they're going to be getting with, the, with, with, with this quality coaching staff right now. You know, definitely, I'm expecting great things. I'm expecting a hard-running team. I'm expecting a high-pressing team. Whichever system or style of play that they're going to be using, I, I, I see where it is going to be effective. Yeah, because of course our natural ability would have been speed and strength, so why not work on it? And I'm 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 happy the direction of where it is going. Trust me. I like what Mr. Bridget. You know, I mean, not everybody will understand, you know. But I know coaches out there would understand uh, the passion that I speak about. Uh or our past players will understand. Yeah, when when players are playing at this 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 high level man, trust me, it's it's a good thing. And I, I am pleased right now, just with this one session, I am pleased and I'm definitely looking for, for, for greater things as the team goes forward. Big up yourself, the coaching staff. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Let me like what I say. Man, man, I fry already. <laughs> and I just probably two hour a day, you know, they would have been able to, to work out with, with Coach Paul. I'll, trust me. Yeah, man, more want to run them to Frazzle, man. So, yes, when them going at the, the competition, you have to run team to wreck. Yeah. Yeah, man, you see, conditioning of your team is very important, you know. Yeah, man, and if, if that part of it is done, then definitely. You see, when, when we played against the United States, we realized that the team started out high press. But, obviously, you see, the lack, lack in our fitness um, uh, or conditioning wasn't able to... Um, for allowing them to uphold that high pressing game for a, a long period of time. It was like a bamboo fire just blaze up and just psh, out, out right away. So I like this, I like what I say. So it's good to know that Paul Hall has assumed control of the, 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 the training session as a pro coach, even pro license coach. I'm going to take it to the ball as them man. Be able to self and take training right now, you know what I mean? So, thanks again, people, for tuning in. What are your thoughts on the numbers? What are your thoughts on Ravel Mars' situation? What are your thoughts on the high intensity of the training? And, and players speaking of it that, you know, training session turn up. Yeah? Plus, we see where they 
have been things that are set up for recovery after those high intensity training. Trust me, I like everything what I say. So I want you to comment on that, people. And thanks for tuning in again. Big up on yourself, man. I'm out.